Hi guys, welcome back to the course on rules for writing a good essay. This course is presented by me, Palak Sharma, your educator at an academy. There are a few things about me. You can have a read. I am a mixture of Keynes and Shakespeare, a content developer by profession, a book eater, theater geek, and a published author and poet. Also rate, review, recommend, share this lesson as much as you can. And you can follow me on an academy. This is my link if you like my courses. And this is me. So today's lesson is about the golden rules for writing an essay. We've all been uh, studying all this while what are the components of an essay, what makes a good essay. But now we're going to study what are the golden rules, the rules and regulations which are important for writing an essay. So the first thing is stick to the topic. Relevance is the most essential and important feature of your writing. If you are roaming around with the topic, not saying things which are relevant then the reader or the examiner will surely lose interest in your writing and your essay in short so if you're writing an essay on suppose that take a topic on cooperative federalism or something like that then all you have to do is stick to the topic of togetherness between the um, factors that are affecting the federalism of any state or any country if you go around speaking about things like uh, different state issues and if you go too deep into them, if you're supposed speaking about cooperative federalism, that how states should come together and deal with problems. And in between, you mention some problems in Jammu and Kashmir. And then you go so deep into Jammu and Kashmir issue that you, that you forget what you were talking about, that you were talking about co cooperative federalism. And then you jump on the issue of uh, Pakistan and POK and every, every kind of stuff. So in that case, you're moving away from your topic, you're adding irrelevance to your topic. So the reader will surely lose interest and the examiner will make you lose your marks. So it's important for us both the interest and the marks, we shouldn't lose them at any cost. So it's important that we stick to the topic and be that and make that uh, the whole piece of work a very relevant piece. The second thing is make sure to identify the keywords to focus on when planning an essay. So if suppose I am writing an essay on the previous topic I spoke about, like, no, suppose if I'm saying that uh, parliament or disruptive, uh, uh, disruptive disruptions in parliament are a bane for Indian democracy. Suppose this is my topic. So if I say that disruptions in parliament are a bane for Indian democracy, then there are some keywords in this. Okay. First, of, first of all, the keyword is disruption. The first keyword that I can think of is disruption, and then Indian parliament, and then the Indian democracy. So I've got three keywords. One is about the disruptions. The second one is about the Indian parliament. And the third one is about the democracy. So if I'm going to start my essay now, I can start with the planning about any of these three components first and foremost. I know now that I have to focus on all these three keywords because they make up the whole essay. So it's important that I decide beforehand writing, before I'm writing, before I'm venturing into literally penning it down, I should make up the thing in my mind that what should I focus on firstly. So if I know a quote related to maybe quarrels or maybe disruptions, I can mention that quotation first. If I know something, some statistics, some quotation about Parliament of India, I can write that thing first if i know something about the uh, indian democracy i can start writing about it first so i have got three kind of keywords about which i can elaborate one by one but all three of them are important and have to be elaborated the third thing is make a paragraph by paragraph plan that presents a developing argument to the topic so you need to have a very step-by-step -step approach towards writing an essay so as again, I'll take my essay topic to be disruptions in the Indian parliament are a bane for Indian democracy. So this was actually my topic for essay. Again, I had written an essay in the particular Arpan. I won the first prize also. So that thing was successful. That strategy was successful. So I will you know, elaborate this strategy only. So what I did was I firstly started with explaining that why disruptions are important. Secondly, I came upon how Indian parliaments are having disruptions. Then I came why Indian disruptions, why the disruptions in Indian parliament are going, when and how are they going beyond the threshold limit of disruptions. Then I mentioned that what could have been done instead of this. So I worked on a paragraph by paragraph plan and presented it in a very systematic way. Now this plan could have been the other way around also. I could have started with Indian parliament. Then I would have mentioned how Indian parliament 
it has evolved in this time how it has converted into a, a ring where people are fighting and i will just keep on expanding things on my own line so there could be different lines according to different mindsets and different thought processes but the most important thing is that the step and the approach should be paragraph by paragraph plan and there should be a development of your argument of the topic and it should take place in a very systematic manner next thing is avoid waffling in opening paragraphs and focus immediately on the given period so what is important again is that you shouldn't beat around the bush the first thing and the last thing which should be avoided while writing an essay is beating around the bush people want to read what they what they actually signify by the topic so if they mean something and you write about something else in the initial 2 3 pages then maybe your essay will be elongated there will be more word count but the marks count will surely decrease so make sure that whatever you are writing it is very much relevant and you immediately come on the topic when you start do not roam around with different things for suppose again taking the same thing if i was writing on disruptions then i shouldn't mention disruptions in daily life like we have disruptions in families i have we have disruptions in different case, case scenarios in society as a whole so that's not something which is very much relevant to the topic i should simply start off with why disruptions are hampering indian democracy indian parliament and in turn they are a bane for indian democracy so i'll just start with what are disruptions in the indian parliament and then i'll move on to the topic why they are not good but i will not talk about disruptions in daily life because maybe that's a part of disruption thing the keyword disruption does include these things also but it is not relevant to my present context and readers have no time to waffle to to read my waffling to read the all the uh, glossary things i have written which are no, no more concern of the topic so these are something which need to be avoided and we shouldn't be more concerned towards increasing the word count and decreasing the marks count because marks are more important fourth thing is spend the rest of the paragraph outlining the ground you intend to cover in the essay so if the opening paragraph mentions uh, the, the opening of the paragraph mentions a line the rest of the paragraph must be the elaboration of the same line so if i have spoken about uh, indian parliament has been spending around some crore on the functioning in every year then the rest of the paragraph should speak about the distribution of that funds for different things maybe it should speak about uh, how much we are uh, giving as taxpayers for running the parliament so all these things should focus on what i have already written in the first line of the paragraph the rest of the paragraph is just an elaboration of everything i have already mentioned in the first line it is simply elaborating exaggerating the effect of the first line of the paragraph next thing is make one point in each subsequent paragraph using a topic sentence so every time you uh, you are ending a, sen- a paragraph or maybe you are uh, writing the paragraph make sure that there is a topic sentence of that paragraph each paragraph ha- should have uh, a, to- a topic of its own so if you are writing some paragraph which is about disruptions then the, ta- the then that paragraph should be have something which is related to disruptions if i am writing some paragraph which is mentioning the ways i can avoid disruptions in the parliament then there should be one line which should speak all i am writing in that paragraph in just a single sentence and that line should be underlined so that the reader or the examiner doesn't have to pay heed to all the rant that you have written and he can simply come upon that underlined phrase and understand that you have got the thing you have got the matter and you have the knowledge and the know how to write this essay rest of the thing rest assured he'll know that you have written the correct thing if your if your underlined part the topic sentence is correct and is relevant So the seventh thing is use linking words at the beginning of paragraphs to help readers follow the development of the essay. So you can, if you are reading the conclusion, you can say in the end or however, therefore, hence. All these words are linking, so use them as much as you can, so that there is a link of flow in your entire work. Eighth thing is the concluding paragraph must return to the topic or the issue that was raised first in the opening part of the essay, and it should draw a conclusion. So the last paragraph or the conclusion, it should come back to the topic. So when I mentioned that I was writing on disruptions on in the Indian Parliament are a bane for Indian democracy, I initially started with how much we are spending on the Parliament, how is it functioning, why isn't it functioning properly, and what could be done. But at the end, I say it all again that disruptions are not good for the Parliament, and this is my bottom line. My bottom line, my concluding statement should be such that it should completely end up and wrap up the whole argument. It should be the end of the case. It should actually. 
really be the bottom line of the entire discussion so it's important that i mention all i could think of in the entire par- in the entire essay but the end i should keep as if it's something very sacred and holy and that should be just kept for uh, you know final say of my words that should be the final say of what i have to present in my essay then i should uh, mention all the sources which i have used in the essay maybe in the body maybe in the footnotes then tenth thing is that you should check the essay for proper grammar and the spelling so these were the 10 rules of writing an essay writing an effective essay so if the next time whenever the next time you are venturing into writing an essay just go through this lesson once bookmark it maybe download it we have this feature now so you can download it and just keep on uh, referring to it time and again so that you know that whatever you are writing it's actually bringing out the same effect or not and these rules need to be adhered as Oh, uh, you know, as sacredly as possible. So this is pretty much everything for today. I hope you like this lesson. Do share your works in the comment section and let me know your doubts. Also, rate, review, recommend, share this lesson. Have a nice day.